Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We, here we are at the Red Light District Show, the very special paranormal edition. Right now, as we're talking a little bit about different kind of techniques, we heard Jeff's wonderful story about <laughs> being the Green Arrow <laughs> and his ritual with his camp counselor in the oranges. So, Chapel yeah, Hill. more about that later. Oh, but God, right now, no. we have the amazing Patty Negri yes. here with us, of course. That's what I want. Woo! Yes. Thank you. This is lucky. Absolutely amazing. We have such a great time with her. So those of you who've seen her on the show before know about, uh, you've seen her do the seance here. You've seen her do the gallery reading where she made contact with some of our own cast members, family who has passed on, but has not passed on too far because they are still here with us, which is a great thing. So tonight, we're going to do the same thing. Patty is going to do her ceremony on lifting the veil. We're going to see who wants to come through and talk to us. Uh, maybe some people who've been talking to Mike. Maybe some people who've been trying to get a hold of Jeff. Uh, maybe some of Isaac's uh, family might come through. Maybe Phil. Maybe someone wants to come through and talk to Phil. Nope. Any of you guys want to talk to Phil, just go ahead and put a comment in the comments and hit that subscribe button and Phil will reach out to you as soon as he gets it. So, Especially if you're an Asian woman. <laughs> Whoa, okay. okay. On that note. Okay, so I work elementally that you, you guys all know and anybody who doesn't. So I work with nature since we are in nature and on this planet, the air and the fire and the water and the earth, same as Native Americans, um, pagans as I am. So that is how I create it. So all of you out there, you can join us too because it's amazing that internet it's the same. You guys, you guys will get the goosebumps when we get the goosebumps because I've been doing this online. So, no time and space on the other side. So, everybody who wants to participate, take a deep breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. Hold it out, hold it out. Just creating safe and safer space for yourself. Another deep breath in. Hold it. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Light and dark returning, luck be in the burning. Light and dark returning, luck be in the burning. Black spirits and white, red spirits and gray mingle, mingle, mingle you may. Ballot out, out, around and about. A world within and a world without. The good stay in. And as for protections, feel free to call in whoever, whatever you work with. But I do call the east winds to blow through, blow away any blocks, any confusion, any darkness, and blow in true community, true communication with us, with the spirits on the other side. Spirits of the east, be with us now. You might feel that expansive through your head. I want to call the south, the fire, passion, creativity, love, sex, God. That which moves us within the body, the beating of the heart, the breath of a dragon, the explosion of a volcano, I call in that south, that fire, again, to burn away any blocks, anything negative and unwanted, and to shape it, to mold it, to mold it into the shape of a heart. So true communication with us and those on the other side. The spirits of the south, be with us now. You might feel that in the base of your spine or your heart coming up. I want to call the West, the sweet waters of the West, water itself, te gentle tears running to a stream, running to a river, running to the ocean, which is life. Water, which is most of our body, almost 60%, most of our planet, and the emotions, may they connect with us to communicate emotionally with the spirits on the other side. And with the water, may the mists of the ancestors rise around us. From each of our blood, the mists of the ancestors, as in the lady, the lady of the lake, rising within us, spirits of the west, be with us now. And lastly, I want to call in the north, Mother Earth herself, this beautiful planet that gives us life, that gives us gravity, that holds us strong, and yet let us reach our arms for the skies and for the stars. Mother Earth, keep us safe, keep us grounded as we travel up and beyond. Spirits of the North, be with us now as it's swirling and swirling and the beautiful veil is loosening around us, loosening around us 
thinning, thinning between us and that of the other worlds, calling in spirits, good and light. There is a place where we all go, where ne'er the frost or cold winds blow, and friends remembered reunite, and those who hate forget their spite. We gather round these gentle beings. We call you now to bless our meeting. And for the living, these spirits do thrive. And now, for the living, may the dead come alive. With the ringing of this bell, we lift the veil twixt heaven and hell to call the spirits to us now as we make this sacred vow. As the veil is lifting around us, and we invite in the spirits, attached to the people here within this space, within this place, we are between the worlds. So everybody, whether you're home or here, all your senses were maybe a little heightened. Um, look for changes of temperature, which isn't the air, goosebumps, of course. Things you see as in a paranormal thing, you're usually gonna see it in your peripheral vision. Um, changes and feel how things feel within your body. There's somebody who definitively wants to talk now. And you guys, since the veil is open, I, it doesn't have to be the Patty Show. There's intuitives here. There's you guys, if you feel it, say it. It's safe to say what you're feeling, what you're sensing, if you're hearing something, a name. The first thing I'm getting really strong, does anybody know a Walter? A Walt, Walter? No. Is he a big guy? Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of nervous. He's kind of nervous and he's a big guy. So uh, are you sensing him or? I'm sensing him. Yeah. I, I just. Envisioned a really big guy who's kind of standing off. Yeah. I don't know anybody named Walter. Mm -hmm. Walt, Walter. No, he's a, uh, whether he's just, you know, cruising by, um, he's not saying anything yet. Walter, talk to us. Yeah, Walter, do you want to talk to us? You can touch just to see since you don't have, if you don't know anybody here, you can make that ring, you can make that ring. I, as always, have my little dowsing rods because they're just, easy to see for one um but it feels like he really does want to say something i i think he's he's nervous because he's not sure what what this is what we're doing here i think <laughs> a little bit yeah i think the curtain opened he was like what what, what just happened? is this yeah. so cross on yes not on no walter is your name walter um He's going back and forth in between Stefan and you. So where where are you right now, Walter? Over here. Because mm -hmm. it's freezing. Yeah, he's going back right and forth. Right here. It's it's yeah. really cold. Yeah, he's standing right there. It's so, really cold. Okay, Walter, why is it do you have something to say? Are you I think he I think he like lived around here. Did you have any neighbors named Walter who passed within a few years? Do you talk to your neighbors? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> to Del Franklin, that's it. Uh oh. I yeah, I think he's kind of looking at it like riffraff in the neighborhood or something. I don't know if that means you guys in general. Or oh, we're we're probably. definitely the riffraff of the neighborhood. Yeah, he's a little nervous. Certified. So. So, is he, a, is he a sports guy? Ask him if he's into sports. Okay. I'm picking up on sports. Walter, are you into sports? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he likes sports. Uh, do you like the Bills? Do you like the Bills? Exactly. No. Okay. Uh, no. Should Tim stop following the Bills? Don't say that either. No. Okay, thank God. Uh, Should Tim like the Rams? No. Oh, you got I don't lucky. think he knows who Tim is. Do you know who okay. Tim is? No. Do you know who Isaac is? Can you point to Isaac? Do you don't know anybody here, do you? Uh, a couple of nobodies. <laughs> a couple of nobodies. So did did you did you used to live here so, somewhere in here? Yeah. How long has this neighborhood been here? Nineteen ninety-six. Okay. Did you live here before nineteen ninety-six? 
I don't think it may maybe mm. the wrong year, maybe. Cause it moved, but I don't think it was fully the right year. Maybe, maybe it's a different time he lived here. Ninety eight. Ninety eight. It feels like he was like one of, an early in here, and then just didn't last long. Yeah. Maybe it was somebody's dad. Somebody's okay. dad. Somebody's dad. He moved on dad. He moved on to you or somebody's dad, like your. What's your son's? And oh shit! Can't say that. What? What? It wasn't what's your son's name, but it's a yes or no. Well, we get, we get, no, well, these are yes or no, but we, somebody you know might get it. Yeah. What was that? Do you know who, I was going to say who, do you know who that person is? Oh. Oh, he does know who you are. Who's no, Walter? Walter? What happened to him? Do you ever him? know a Walter? Long, long time ago when I was very young. Was he a biggish guy? And like sports? Oh. How do you know him? He was my target target friend. The microphone. He was my hey, best friend's Phil. father. <laughs> but that's what you're saying. Someone's father. That, yeah. yeah, she said someone's father, dude. But he's dead now. I mean, well, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> he, he, he looks pretty no, good. No, he's not. He Welcome in, Walter. Because <laughs> it was funny. We're talking to spirits and you're saying, well, you're dead. Of course they're dead. Okay, so did you, did you live in that neighborhood, or did you kind of come here with, with Phil and the, and the family hanging out, kind of? Yeah, kind of. Oh, he came in here with you, dude. I don't see how. He, this was back in New York. It doesn't matter. No time died. and space See, you can fly side. anywhere you want. Well, I don't n understand why he would have such a connection with me. I really didn't, you know. What'd you do? What happened? What'd you do? I was, just a, I was just a Dad, a this is the second time someone home. brings him up. You know, someone else has brought him up, too, right? Brought up Walter? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and I think... It was last time We're, Patty was here, right? No. No. Or was it uh, Wendy? Yeah, it was Debbie. It was Debbie Senna. Oh, Debbie. I don't remember that. And, and brought a Walter? No, Walter popped Yeah. Up. This is the second time about of your friend. And you're like, well, I don't know why my friend's dad would want to know, talk to me. Maybe he's trying to tell you something. Yeah. Do, is, your, is your friend still your friend? Do you still know him? No, he died some time ago. Oh, so your he, friend died because too. Because he, um, he, he got overdosed on alcohol, and he, mm -hmm. got, um, he just got like re retarded or something. He couldn't move anymore. He was in a wheelchair, Aww. and he just died. Yeah. So his name was Roy, but his father's name is Walter. Okay, so Walter, do, do you have a son? Did you have a son named Roy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I say so. Mm -hmm. And I, something about his feet. Do you remember something with no. Roy's feet? He was a bartender. He owned a bar. Um, and What's that, up with his feet? A, I don't know anything about that. Did he have weird shoes? Not that I remember. I was only like maybe 10 years old at the time. Mm. Oh, yeah. That, w that was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. At a pizza parlor, right? Oh, uh, no. It was a bar. It was, bar. A, <laughs> it was a soda pop shop. <laughs> Um, so do you, do you have anything to say to him? Because he seems to want to say Talk to him. I don't know what to say to you, him. Because you have I to haven't figure seen out what him. he wants. I haven't seen him since then. So is, okay. is he trying to tell him a message? Okay, so so Walter, do you have a message for for Phil? Oh, so he wants to tell him Dude, that, Is it a yeah. warning? No. 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 Does it have to do with Tim? <laughs> no. Don't use that Rogaine, Rogaine brand. As <laughs> the Rogaine Don't put red. that on your eyebrows. <laughs> or your beard. <laughs> is it a message from someone else? Is it a message from someone else? No, it's from him. Does it have to do with, with Roy? No, it has to do with, Walt, with Phil himself. Uh, he's... Something, you did something or you said something that he remembered. Like you were, you were like an upright kid about something. Do you remember a situation, something that happened? I don't know what it would be. You don't remember ever doing a good thing, an upright thing? Nah. Well, not that I, not that I can remember. <laughs> yeah, you suck, dude. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. At least you're being honest about it. Yeah. 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 I that's what I I think I think Is he proud of him or something? Yeah, it's it's like he he you stood out as
like being above and beyond on some weird situation. Good for you, Phil. Nice. The one thing, and he's trying to remind you of that. Well, why are you asking me these? I don't remember. Because I'm trying I mean, to get it was a long, long fucking time, time ago. Just how am I supposed focus to Focus back. Focus back. Remember those Think. times. Don't get frustrated. It's okay. You were a young kid playing in a bar. Did you go into the bar? Well, I used to go in there to, That's to, probably to find my, my, you know, to, to meet up with my friend. Okay. And was your friend Roy or that was somebody else? No, his name was Roy. His friend was Roy. Was was Roy like a bad kid and you a good kid or you were no, both we were just kids? Yeah. So I'm getting it right. You did you you did the right thing. That's all he was saying. He was very surprised by it. I don't know what it would have been. Mm, it I could have been a little tiny right something, but he it just remembered, and and he. Were you around when Roy was starting to go bad? No. I had left and went. Uh, I had lost contact with those people. Uh, sometime before that. You just move away or something? Huh? Did you move away or something? Is that how you lost contact? Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, Walter. Well, he doesn't know what to ask you, so are you okay with everything? Yeah, you are okay. Do you want to talk through the funny box? My funny box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, funny box time. Okay, funny box time. We'll see. This is, sometimes it is in canny right on, and sometimes it's ridiculous. So, okay, this is for Roy right now, if there's any message for Phil or just anything you want to say. That's all that gets to talk through here. 18, does that mean anything to you? Were you still around then? No. No. <laughs> okay, can you say something that Phil would know? Ah, uh, it's overwhelmed. April 18th, or when you're 18? That mean April 18th, you eight, You said April? Yeah. yeah April. It said April, then it said 18. Where's April a person? 18 first and then April. Maybe April was 18. Do you know remember some 18 year old named April? I think. Uh oh. 1919? Oh, oh, shit. Was that an attack? I don't know. What did it say? I. It could have said which, but it could have said something else as well. I, I thought it said something else. I thought it said something else. It's, it's, same thing, yeah. It's, it's, oh. She literally just told you, you know, this is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me a bitch? She's like, yeah. oh. It's April 18, 18 April. Okay, could you say something that Phil, could help uh, Phil's memory to remember something? That why you came all the way here, he doesn't feel any specific connection to you? But it is something about Roy and him. I know. I know. Lonely. Lonely. Oh, he's lonely. That's why he came to visit you. Who's lonely? Which one? Is it Phil or is it Roy or Walter? I think Walter's the lonely one. I think Walter's the lonely one. Maybe Phil's the lonely one. Walter, are you lonely? Oh, shit. Oh. The lonely person he knows on Earth. So. You're the only one left, dude. Are Ashley. Who's Ashley? I don't know anybody named Ashley. Do you have a daughter named Ashley? No. Did you I know? said I don't know anybody named Ashley. Well, maybe you don't know your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know someone named Ashley? No, I don't know. Okay, anybody. so, Walter, all right. Walter We're married an Ashley? Walter was with an Ashley? Um, all right, so if you're not going to say anything, we're going to move on to other people. Well, who's... Who's lonely? Him or did he say it was speak? Steve? What was that? What did you say? Who is lonely? Okay. Who is lonely? We okay. Then he said Walter said he's lonely. Yeah, but why would he be lonely? He had a because he might not have anybody left on Earth. Oh, I don't know. Danger. Oh, danger for Phil? Is there danger for Phil? Is there danger for Phil? A little bit of danger. <laughs> Tiny danger. Tiny danger. Danger. So who danger for who? Are you here because there's danger? No. Da for all of us? For mankind? For all of us? <laughs> for the Ukraine? <laughs> Have you thought of me? 
No, I don't think he has. He obviously, he obviously forgot you. But he's been brought up before. Right? Yeah. yeah so, this is the second he, time. He's, he, I think this person is desperately trying to have you remember. Yeah. And maybe it's just you being hard on yourself. Maybe he's trying to tell you that you're a good dude. Yeah. TV issue. TV issue? He's coming to tell you you watch too much MASH. Yeah. Did you Rodney want to your Rising. Yeah. It's dangerous. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Like, did you break the TV or did you fix the TV? I have no idea. James. James. James? 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 No, James. We don't know all these names, so we're going to we're gonna move on. And maybe it'll come back to it later. Just a basketball team? Is, is it a what? <laughs> Hello, a bunch of names. All right. Yeah, one more word. Anything, Walter, that we'll, Phil will f- pick up on? Is, are you with Irene? Are you with Irene? Are you with Irene? Stop. Are you with Irene? Ooh, that was his wife. <laughs> I guess somebody wants to went one way and the other one went the other way. Or something. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, one are died. You, are you with, maybe, are you with Roy? Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Are they around? But you don't hang out with them? Well, I guess that's why he's lonely. You can't find Roy. Hmm. <clears throat> maybe we should call Roy in there. Do you want to talk to Roy? He can answer, I guess. Okay. Okay, in love, we do. So Walter, if you want to step back, if you have any issues or not issues, that's okay or not. Um, we would like to call in the spirit of Roy. Did he have um, his eyes kind of you're gonna go what you're talking about kind of like these not droopy eyes but these like dreamy eyes but like eyes that stood out that you remember with Roy I, I can't remember if it was or not okay because that's I, what I, I, I don't recall anything <clears throat> odd about him or anything like that well it, it wasn't odd it was just like kind of dreamy eyes that's what he just kind of came in kind of sad actually hmm. he hasn't talked yet uh, so, so is, is Roy here? Okay. Uh, do you, do you not hang out with your, do you hang out with your dad? No. Did you guys mm. have, it, you, you, are you okay with your dad? Yeah, but you don't hang out. So who's your friend here? It's pointing at Phil. I, I, I don't know. Because he was your friend. He thinks you're his friend, dude. Yeah, what kind like, of friend are you? This is like 50 some odd years ago. You can still. So when I'm friends with somebody and I say you're my friend, I mean life. that my entire life. But I, I, could, I could not see Tim for 10 years and run into him and our friendship will pick exactly up right where we left off. Instantaneously. And I do that with everybody. Yeah. It's, yeah. And if they're not time and space on the other side, it was mm-hmm. yesterday. Maybe that's the funnest moment of his life. Yeah, maybe. yeah so, smashing windows with you and stuff at the bar those times. Okay, so so Roy, do you have good memories of Phil? See. Yeah. Wow, you did cool stuff. That's awesome. Did did Phil do something that made your dad really happy about something? You you two boys were getting into something. Yes. Do you think that Phil will remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> will you help him to remember? <laughs> No. You're on your own, dude. You have to know the great thing that you did that one time. You suppressed something? I feel It feels like you did, actually. What are you trying to hide? I just, I just don't know what it is. I'm, I'm going through my mind thinking about... I, say, I see the smoke. <laughs> thinking about what, what went on at, at that time, but I don't remember anything spectacular. Was there stairs, like two little stairs... What happened on the stairs? Do you remember? Was it school, Maybe like a school thing? The stairs going down. 
really? Not like a whole stairwell. Like a like was there a step up to the bar? Could have been. That's what I'm just seeing. Like, like, like two steps. That's it. What that. about the houses? Yeah, it's back east. Everything's got stairs yeah, going up to the house. Yeah. No stoop? No stoop. Basement? Well, there might have been stairs going into the bar. There was, we lived absolutely right next door to the bar. So it could have been um, the stairs for the house we lived in. I don't Okay. So this sounds like you, I mean, you certainly did know them. They were part of your world, at least for a, a short period Maybe of time. Maybe you hung out on the stairs sometimes? Could have been. Playing kickball in the street near there? Did you save him from falling, falling down the stairs? The bar, falling down the stairs? Falling yeah. down. Yeah, I don't know. You, uh, said, you must have suppressed something. Because it's like you have no, like... Huh. But, like, it's... the. This is reminding you, slowly... Yeah. Think, you're thinking about it. You know? You're thinking about it. Does it... Do, what is... Did you come to a emotional... Does it... Does it agitate you? Does what agitate me? The memory you the memory? suppressing. No, I, it doesn't agitate me. I just... Um, so there is a memory <coughs> that you're suppressing. <laughs> well, if it is, I don't know what it could be. Did something bad happen at age 10? N n no. Not that you, you remember? I know, I'd like to we could go into therapy. Um, Was right. it a good touch or a bad touch? What? How long were you there? How long? How many years you got was the it? Marriage too? Well, when did the... Just a couple of years, maybe. When did the... Oh, you are just in that area for a couple of years? So you were like... Yeah, two or three years. 10 maybe, to 13? Yeah, exactly, as far as I remember. Is that after the house blew up? I don't remember that at all. See? There's a lot of trauma. That's, 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 that's a lot of trauma. I don't... I don't I don't believe that ever happened because I don't ever. St I, but I, I, don't I have three something. different accounts from three different siblings of yours. That the house blew up. Yes. Were you in the house, Phil? No, uh, he wasn't in the house. They came up on the house and it was blown up. And you don't remember that? No. How did your house blow up? Oh, never mind. If you don't want to talk about Tell it, tell the story. No, I'm not going to say. Okay. But uh, I'm so right. I know. I I know yeah. from what Mike told me, but whether that's true or not. Yeah. There's how, three how different old siblings. Were, how old were you when the house blew up? Well, I must have been somewhere around 10 or... That's the time oh, you my died. God! Eight Dad! Wow. Well, what... Oh, my I God. Mean, I've only, we, we were only in, at that house for a few years. Okay. Until it blew up! So, yeah. <laughs> Probably not after that. Sorry. And, and I don't remember... I don't remember seeing it happen. So I don't know whether it happened or not. So no, I... According to Mike, you were sleeping on the way to the house. And they got there and it was blown up. You don't okay. remember having to move? Uh, no. Or I like, don't even remember moving I, from there. I, I, or a house just, blown up with you all just your remember, stuff? How do you remember the next house? I don't remember which one it was, where it was. Wow. You can't think of the bedroom or anything? I, I, where you put your toys? Did you block that whole year out? I don't know. I think you did. Yeah. Well, I think my, you did. My father was always drunk because the bar was next door, and he would always come home drunk and crazy and shit like that, so... So did did Walter take you under his wing a little bit? Because you know, maybe a, maybe a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He feels that like he has to take he care think of you. You, th you were a good kid. You did something good that you don't remember. Maybe it has to do with this whole the house blowing up or not. But maybe that's why he's here. Wow. Because maybe you blocked out something. Really maybe you need good. to talk about it. Yeah. Maybe it's a reminder to go think like go get your. Go talk, yeah, go talk about it. Or, uh, I'm going to, uh, so with this story, mm -hmm. my aunt told me this story first okay. about they you come aunt, home. Your aunt who? My aunt Ann. Oh, Ann, okay. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know which, which one, one you yeah. Which one of my sisters? How many sisters do you have, dude? How many sisters do we have? I, I don't. We no, have one sister. That, okay, just go, just go ahead. <laughs> so wow. his sister, No, I've got my two aunt, sisters, so shut up. Okay, so. A sister that I don't know about. And yeah, of course. He's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so my Aunt Anne, she writes me one day on, there's someone here. Oh, yeah, look. Right there. Yeah, yeah there's oh, Roy. Roy, you oh. came on in. Also, they adopted my sister. Oh, it's getting really cold over here, too. Oh, my God, Dad. That's the people? Okay, let me, right, I'm going to tell the story. <laughs> I got two wow. of them. So here we go. Over. Yeah. Oh, this my God. Good stuff, good stuff. My grandfather... 
he was in the mob, or he was associated. His brothers, right, were in the mob. Everybody he knew was in the mob. But, so they were affiliated. You yeah, know what it's I mean? back east. He got in some trouble where he couldn't pay back some money. Your dad? No. Uh, the grandpa. My grandpa. And if you don't have the money, things happen. Well, it was his own brother that did that. Both of his brothers, my grandfather's brothers, that did that to the house because they needed to set a precedent in town. Wow. So the house blows up. My, my aunt tells me. My, my, then I talk to my dad about it. He says, no, she's just crazy. My aunt, she tells me some stories that eh, some are true, some are false. So then I ask my Uncle Mike and then my Uncle Carmen. All of them confirm the same story. So he's the only one that doesn't believe it. My it's not that I don't believe it. I don't remember it. So much money that they blew up the house. Then he owed so much money to the bar next door, and Walter couldn't have a daughter. Or couldn't have another kid, right? And so to pay the bar debt, my grandfather gets my aunt, my, that I don't know, and gives it to Walter, and then they, they move away. No way. What, you, they, they, they gave your aunt away? Yeah, to, to settle the tab. What did they do with your aunt? And She's still around. Was, what was her name? Uh, Helen. Helen? So that's your sister. Let's try, to, let's try to get a hold of Helen. Is she alive? Yeah, she's alive. Okay. Oh. This is, this we is can, we can use an iPhone see, for that. See what happens? There was nothing <laughs> going on a second ago. He knew nothing a second ago. Now we got this whole mob story Why would going. Why Walter, Walter show up? I hardly. Yeah. yeah. I think you did something. To protect the innocent? Well, no. Well, they changed it to Ellen for, because her mother, well, her mother couldn't say the age. What? They were, poor, they were Polish, and, they, and mm. she... she she couldn't say Helen. So is she he, is called it her Ellen? So she called. I don't know whether she changed it or whether she just kept on going by that name or, or what it was. Wow, that is crazy. And this is the second time this person has tried to contact you. So now, do you think that story is true? Are you remembering, Dad? I mean, it's here. Like, it's not like how would. For one, you have to know that there's something's real here, right? Yeah. Like, this is the first time you can ever say yes. Because this is a second different person who brings up Walter. Walter wants to talk to you, you and you don't think that it's true, that story. Mm. The, Anne, the Anne and Mike and Carmen I, I'm all... I'm not saying it's not true. I just don't remember seeing it happen, so I... But you, know. you must have blacked out. Like, when's the next memory you have after that? You know, I, I, I don't remember where we went after that. What's your next memory, period? You being born? I mean, is it 13, 17, 20? My next memory You're was probably when we <coughs> when we lived in the in the in the projects over it, in, in Buffalo. Okay, and so when, like how old were you? It's like 15? We, I lived there till I was probably 15 or 16. How old were you? Probably, no, probably about 14. We lived oh, there. So you're, so that's Your next memory is between 12 and 14? Somewhere around there, probably. So you blocked out two years of life. I don't know how. And you do know that every time you, I wake you up, since I was a little kid, you go, <gasps> oh, shit. You freak the fuck out. <clears throat> Why is that, Phil? I have no idea. Do you, do you recognize that? Uh, sometimes I jump because I don't know. Because you see the stud yeah. standing over you. Well, you know that you have, <laughs> know that you have Walter, yeah, right. who thinks you're this upstanding, amazing person, and that's how he started out before we knew that there was houses blowing up and mobs and boys and who think and you must have done something that you can't remember. That was kind of like almost like heroic or something. Gee, you did a good thing, oh, man. I was very young. I don't know what it could have been. Did you drag somebody out of the house when the house was on fire? Did you save yeah. the cat? <laughs> no. Wow. That is amazing. That so is anyway, so, so did we get down to it? Uh, Roy, you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> Walter, you're still here. Yeah. Okay. Did we solve the riddle? I don't know that we solved the riddle, <laughs> but you know, if you would, if you want to try to remember it, I have this technique called dream school. I don't know if I talked about it before. Put a glass of water by the side of your bed at night. 
it's a conduit remember we're mostly water and just say i want to dream of or get downloads of the memories when i was living in that place with walter and roy and that's it all it does is you are giving the universe permission to download you while you're asleep and that you know get in your own way chatty left brain that i don't remember i don't is is asleep so Holy try that. cow, that okay. shit was amazing. Yeah, that that was good. So anyway, wow. he came first Dude. for well, you. So this is a second you did time? something really good. You did Guy's something been brought really up. good. Walter just came in and got down to business. I didn't, I've never connected the two because, like, I would assume that he would, because that story, I would assume that he would say, well, I was 10 then, and I'm 10 now. I was, But I didn't know that that's when the house blew up, you were 10. But what did Walter say? I last may time? have been younger than that too. I may. Yeah, have I think what? he just mentioned his name, and they didn't it, it say it. It mentioned his name. We had the box going, and so I don't even remember. Next Maybe April eighteenth is the day it got blown up. I don't know. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it, it, was, it was. We couldn't figure it out because he didn't. Mem it was just real fast. Like oh, and it made it like oh, do you are you do you remember? Nope, don't know. The next. Okay, yeah. well next. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this one was like, it just got you. It went. Let it seek it. It might come in three days or try the water by the bed thing. Um, but it, 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 you'd probably be a good thing for you, is what they're saying. Otherwise, he wouldn't keep showing up when these things happen, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and he's way. proud of you, too, he said. Yeah, he's really You did a good thing. You. It's probably like a million dollars hidden for you somewhere. Some, I, I think he... Um, I remember now. <laughs> Because he always used to take me places with his son, every place they went. Because his 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 um his brother owned another um, night or bar uh, out someplace else, and we used to always go there too. Um, but I was always with him. It was it was like one of those things where we were just always together. So he you took know? you in his wing for a little bit. Damn, that whole like that's, this, that's like a piece of my life that's like pieced together too. That's my dad in real life. <laughs> he doesn't just play one on the show. Yeah, he doesn't just play my dad on the show. <laughs> anyway, they're here and they are here for you. Wow, that's awesome, Phil. Good job, Phil. Yeah, someone yeah, loves you, dude. Yay, job, Phil. Phil. <laughs> the guy who says nothing paranormal ever happens to him. I know. That's like one of the biggest You're things. You're a target. That's the biggest thing that's ever that's happened you. on the show. Like, with. Well, I mean. Unsolved. You said you wouldn't understand why he would want to reach out to you, and that's a <laughs> yeah, perfect know, example why he would want to reach story. out to you. <laughs> yeah, just a guy, just a guy. What? <laughs> Barely even knew the guy. Yeah, Walter? Oh, yeah, he's my friend's dad. I mean, now, yeah. the first time you talked sisters. about Walter, it was like, yeah, it's my friend's dad, and I don't know why he wants to talk to me. Like, <laughs> he, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, by the he way. He pretty much adopted your sister, dude. Oh, by the way, dude. yeah, he adopted my sister. And he <laughs> took and me on every significant child trip in my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way. He taught me how to ride oh, a bike. He helped you out when the house blew up. Yeah. Yeah, the house blew up. Like, what kid goes through a house blowing up, you know? Right like, next to Walter's down. bar. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't happen to th I didn't have that one, so that's interesting. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of experience. I can't believe that you didn't that's figure that out. I'm never going to forgive it. I'm never going to forget this, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> this is so nuts. Yeah. No, wow. not because this is a wonderful experience. Because you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how your brain's working. You're just, you're well, it's not his how fault. do you wake up? It's probably not his fault. He probably should No, it probably something was traumatic. traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. And he it's did the good fault. thing in something traumatic. It was when he had and a he kid. he just took the whole thing out. It happens. It's well, think like about a it. He lost his sister. You know? I mean, you lose a sister. That's in that a very think, traumatic way. I think maybe the traumatic part was when I was with my brother, Mike, and my father. He, he was drunk, and he was getting in the car, and he wanted to take us down to the lake. For what? And we only went... We only went a, a, a short distance and he crashed into a, a telephone pole and my brother's head went through the window and chopped his ear off. Oh, so shit. Wow, more to this story. It's just hanging by, by his skin. You know? So that could have been where, when I just actually <clears throat> got about shit. You know? Why would your Did dad Did you just want remember that right now? Yeah. See? Yeah. Wow. See, the veil's it open and now his mind is open. Yeah. He's gonna, there's going to be awesome. more. You better put some water next to your bed. You yeah. you have two years to fill in. At least, maybe three. What a great experience. Yeah. I, I, but, thought, I, I thought Tim was saying you have two years left. Yeah. That, <laughs> don't. No, he's got four. It's all right. Yeah. So, 
Why would your dad want to take you to a lake in the middle I, of the I night? I have no idea. He was going to kill you. <laughs> he was going to baptize him. His dad was going to drown you, dude. And something stopped him from doing that, and he crashed. Oh, so are you, you're being serious right I now. am dead serious. What? Well, Stop it. I'm know. seeing, like, images of this happening. Are you seeing the night kids again, or what is going on? Dude, your dad was going to kill you because he was all hammered. He was, uh, was going to give away your sister and kill was, you guys he off. He would have been set. I mean, he he really would be out of there. Wasted. Do you remember th anything in the car? No. I remember it was a green station wagon. A couple of bricks in the back? It's a murderer car right there. <laughs> and, and that's <laughs> all I remember. We were sitting in the back seat. I of course you the, were. I was on the... Um, With rope. Behind I was on the left. He was on the right. You were behind your dad? No. I was, I, I was in the... Yeah. Yeah, I was. What did you do when your brother was hurt? Did you try what to help him I did? or did you... I, I didn't you know what to do. Him? You were just kind of there? I, I, I think I was younger than 10, actually. Did you start crying? Were you crying? I don't remember. No, I don't think I did. How did you Wait. remember, or how do you get into the next situation? Do you go up to him and try to help him? Or you just sit there and wait you, for something to come? The last thing I remember is, is going back down the street and my mother standing in front of the bar and she was crying because she's seen what happened. And then this guy in a, in a really um, uh, slick sports car got my brother, got him into the car, and, and hauled the ass down to the hospital. That's Who was the guy in the sports car? Some guy driving by? He's like, hey, no, he get, was, get in here. I don't know. He, he, he was somebody from the neighborhood. So you had a small neighborhood? Well, it was. I mean, everyone's hanging out with everybody, and you guys are giving your kids yeah, away and stuff. So. Kind of something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see in the car? It's dark. There's trees. There's a couple of kids. He was gonna do something bad to them. That's what I. That's that's what was I was getting. Up with how? Whether he was gonna drown them or not, I don't know. And that's probably why your mom, your mom was crying because they had a fight about something. Do you think and maybe he took you guys? Yeah. Do you think he was gonna try to kill everybody in that car? Like yeah, absolutely. Probably about giving your sister away. Had you already given the sister away? Not you. But. I think. And how'd you give her away? You just handed her over and it was like well, paperwork? No, it, it went, th as far as I understand, it went through. It was like a bill of uh, adoption. Uh, like a bill of sale kind of thing you got to transfer yeah. over? <laughs> no. So was was Walter in any of this picture of the car accident? No. The, no. What about Roy? Was he around? I don't remember seeing him. How far away from the bar was it? To that accident. Oh, it wasn't very far at all. What would you say? From here to where? From here to maybe the corner. Wow. All the way in the corner? Yeah. So maybe you're looking at, what is that, two, three hundred feet? This corner right here? That's pretty close. Oh, yeah, all, the the, 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 all the way down yeah. the corner. Oh. It was like 300 feet, 400 feet? Yeah, probably. And so you just go running that way? I, I, it's, the last thing I remember is me standing there in front of my mother. Everything else from that, before that point, I don't remember. Accident mom. Accident. It's funny how Walter's reaching out to you twice, and Grandma doesn't reach out to you once. <laughs> yeah, neither is Dad. So. That's yeah. just, that he still thinks about you. That's cool. That's yeah, crazy. That's cool, yeah. Making sure okay. you're, so you're, you're, you're not being a dipshit, right, dude. Yeah. And again, it, I Walter think if selling. anything comes back to you, it, it's going to be a, a good. It's an empowering thing. That's why he. That is nuts. Well, yeah, I think that's a very traumatic experience in that one and a half, two years. Well, I've never told anybody this story. So you guys are the only ones. <laughs> See? <laughs> story well, you time. You just remembered film. it, dude. He just remembered it. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. going to start well, remembering the things. Was, like, the trigger started. Yeah, it's a do the first domino just fell. And now he's going to be crying in his sleep tonight. And that's probably him. why you're Hello. waking up all crazy. Because you wake up as if you were in war. Like me. But you weren't, you know what I mean? But that's probably what... You're probably dealing with that shit subconsciously in your head. Yeah, every time you're closing your eyes, every time you're asleep. He's been wanting a paranormal experience for the longest time. Remember he was crying to you in the car about it? Crying? Yeah, you're like whining, you're like, we ruin everything. And 
Why? Why does Isaac get to talk to these people? <laughs> like and all this other stuff. Like, oh yeah, at yeah. the memorial yeah. when they kept saying your name through the spirit box, yeah. they kept saying ice over and over again. And you're like, whoa! whoa, whoa. Yeah. Can you just say Phil once? Come on, guys. <laughs> he was so upset. Phil. So upset. Things were happening to everybody. Do you feel that this is a paranormal experience? Uh, I think it's a, a recovered memory. As for okay. a paranormal experience, I, I don't, I'm still skeptical. Okay. Okay. So nobody here knew anything about a guy named Walter. So we got that right away. We and drug every single thing out of you. I don't think you drug everything out. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, of this dear. conversation. So Phil, no, even though you're obviously surrounded by people who love you all the time, have you felt lonely lately? No. Come on, Phil. It's okay. We're your own family and friends, man. Right? I mean, I've always got people around, and there's always yeah. Uh, but just because Dude, I'm surrounded around by people all, all the time, and yeah. sometimes I feel lonely, man. Well, it's just like that, you know. No, I don't. Hey. I don't feel lonely. Really. If you're lonely, just say you're lonely, dude. I said I don't feel lonely. He's not lonely. Okay, maybe Roy's just lonely. I mean, or if Walter's lonely. I'll start, anyway, I'll start talking to you more. But go. I think go fishing with him. That maybe he came. Maybe this was like that first domino, whatever. And this is going to be good for you because he wouldn't have came in. He came in with love. So, whatever this opened up, first time told the story, it's going to be a positive for you. You need to embrace it, dude. Yeah. Embrace yeah. it. Open it up to it. Let Open it out. But, and, out. but if you could somewhere remember something about shoes or feet. You know what's crazy? Like, I asked me, like, I, I'm, I'm a very inquisitive person, right? That's so obviously interviewed, right? And I've asked him, like, about his childhood. It's pretty normal. Like, he, the only story <laughs> he wants to tell me is, like, and I don't know what to believe, right? Because he doesn't tell me the full story. I go, well, what happened? Tell me something about your childhood. He just tells me a story about how this guy took his fucking uh, ice cream sandwich. He stabbed him in the eye with a spork. He, this, he loves... <laughs> yeah, he stabbed, stabbed him, him with the sport. Stabbed him in the arm. Wow. Because he stole his ice cream sandwich. Which one this is was it? in high school. You must have really loved That's ice cream. That's the only story I know, and in stories about Joe Sanchez and weed. And well, my, my, my life history is, isn't a very good one, so it, it, there's things that I just well, would not you, talk about. Well, if you, it would help me, ex it will explain, uh, help me no, to you explain don't, you don't need to how you, yes. No, you don't. Because I'll be more... Fucking easy on you. Yeah. But maybe you did one very heroic, upstanding thing. Well, I have there. to think about that because I don't remember what it would be. Phil's a hero, did everybody. He have, did he buy you shoes? Thank did you. He get, did he buy you a pair of shoes? Did yeah. you give your shoes to someone that had no shoes? Were you, were you massaging his feet? <laughs> I don't did know. You go get a, uh, did you put on PF flyers and go get a ball Out of the that dark? was signed by Babe Ruth? Yeah. And Pickle the Beast? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty close. All right. You're doing right. the bet? We will let we will let Phil rest. I good think. job though, Phil. That's good. That was, yeah, well, yeah. Good. good job, Patty. Thank you. Thank that you. was Thank awesome. You. Patty you. Negri, everybody. Well, the veil's still open, man. Yeah. The veil's still oh yeah, the veil is still open. Yeah. Um, does anybody want to ask for somebody specific? Yeah, let's call. Let's call in somebody. Yeah. Who wants to call in someone? Ice. You want to talk to your brother? Yeah, if he's around. If he's, I mean, he said he's always around. So it's if he's really around. cold over here. So somebody's here. And what was his name? Paul. Paul. My leg is freezing, so let's go. Okay, Paul. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's here. Paul, uh, we do it. He's going like this. Does that mean something to you? How he's doing this? It's, it's, I might be doing it wrong, but <laughs> something like that. Chopping. Could be chopping. I could be doing it wrong, but that's the first how, thing. How are you like, supposed to do I'm it? Here. I don't. Th I think. He, I think maybe he's doing this. Open. Yeah, this that is, could he be. Would, he would be rock. This is how he would rock me ish. Oh. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's it. Are yeah. you feeling tired when he does that? No, but I remember. My, there's been a lot of uh, pictures of me and him as a kid, or me as a baby. Yeah. And him as like 18, 19, and uh, there's a lot of pictures been popping up lately from my family members, especially I think for my birthday. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So maybe that's it, because uh, again, I, I'm just seeing outlines of, so it could certainly be. Well, no, when he was definitely, when I was born, he was definitely super, like, all about it. Like, he was, just, like, super excited for me to be alive. So that was, I remember that's how he would rock me. I don't know how okay. I know that. See, because you were there. Uh, yeah. You remember your child, babyhood. Yeah. Um, he's funny. He's really funny. He is. Have you, have you noticed 
weird smudges on your glasses sometimes? Yeah. That's him. <laughs> For real? Yeah. And I always clean them too, which is funny. And I go, I just, and I, I'm, I'm really particular because I hate it. I, it, I, it, 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 like, it's one of my pet peeves actually. <laughs> Is that I, I always clean them. I have spray, and I always clean them, and then I make sure that I never touch them. And they're new glasses. And then they have smudges. And they have smudges yeah, on Yeah, that's him. You told me that. Oh, hey, you stinker. He's funny. He's getting you, dude. Yeah. No, what a kidder. That's so annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying. But he uh, thinks you look great. Oh. Well, he's really proud of you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, he's also something with the palm of the hand. Palm, does that mean something to you? Palm of the hand. Palm of the hand. Not maybe, gonna... maybe you used to hold his hand or something? Because it's almost like a little kid's hand and a big kid's hand. Oh, something. yeah. No, that he would always, yeah, I would always hold his hand. Which is really weird because I didn't like no, holding anybody's hand. Okay. But I held his hand a lot. Yeah. I would run to He's his hand. He's just going through all these little Yeah, no, all like these. Whatever. That's so crazy because I forgot about that. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's. And that, he, and that was special because you didn't do it with anybody else. Yeah. And he had a little tiny hand. You had a little tiny hand. He yeah, well, I wouldn't even do it to my mom. My mom would cling to a dress. So every once in a while, I would hold her hand. But it wasn't like, it was more of like a disciplinary thing. Not that it was out of, out of love, but it was more discipline. And when, when I held his hand, it was, it just felt like, it just felt like loving-ish more, I guess, if that makes sense. He's showing me, again, then you could ask him whatever. It's almost like, it's, I guess it's a baby bed. It's a crib. Yeah. Do you remember something weird with the crib? That, yeah. Yeah. I would always get, I would always get jump out. off of it. You get out, yeah. I would always get out. All and I, at one time, <laughs> I'd always get out. One time I had <laughs> suspenders. Over there. No, tri trip out. No, it would, <laughs> he, I would, okay, stuck. I would, okay, no. let's be fair. I didn't jump. I rolled out of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I would roll out. And then one time I remember um, I had suspenders. Oh, and I got caught? and I got caught like Spider Man. I was fucking dangling ah. and I was like crying. And my, I think my brother was the one that saw, saw me. And then ran. For he didn't even stop. He goes. He ran to go get everybody else first, <laughs> and then said, "Look at." Because I was in no immediate danger, but he ran to go get my mom and yeah. then and whoever. And then they showed me. Look at Spider Man. <laughs> and, then, and, then after, and then afterwards, he got me out. You know. That's I funny. do remember that. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That's a, he remembers <laughs> that. Um, that's awesome. Something you want to ask him or tell him? Uh, that, um, that we were, well, most of the siblings were at, we had a, a birthday dinner and there was a really interesting moment where we felt him there. We were talking about my brother, older brother, we we're talking about, you know, how young I was, but how older I'm getting, you know what I mean? And we're at that weird age where like, it would have been, he's like at that age where I w would have been you know, um, still alive or so. And so my brother said something like, well, yeah, he's my, he's the only brother I have left. And then it, it, we all kind of got quiet and we kind of just looked at each other and then it was just like, you know, we remembered him for a minute and, but we all kind of felt like he was there. Were you there? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. He, um, He did something under the table. He did something under the table. I do remember someone. I do remember something happened in every time. I don't know if someone dropped something or something. I'm trying to remember. I do, because when you said that, I go, something did happen on the table. But yeah. I was in the middle of talking to the waitress. It wasn't even the waitress. It was the guy taking the picture. It was a guy, actually. Um. And then something that was a commotion under the it was something there was a commotion under the desk. I just don't know what it was. I have to talk. I need to tell my sister. My sister knows. Something did happen. That's weird. Yeah. Did he do something? He yeah. did something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a pr he was a he's big a prankster. prankster. Yeah, he's a big he's prankster. A prankster. He's definitely a prankster. And uh, again, feel free to talk or whatever. Something about uh, bricks. Bricks. Now that one I don't know. Don't know. Bricks. You don't remember bricks? Mm -mm. I mean, I love the way brick looks, but I mean, there's nothing that. 
There's, there's the, bricks behind us, dude. Well, yeah, when I think bricks, I don't think of these bricks. I think of the traditional. Like, I'm thinking red. Red bricks, red bricks yeah. The way you said that. No, I like me. These are nice, but I would just traditional red brick. I um, not off the top of my head, no. Okay. Well, cool. But I love them. I know our family misses them, and it was. I mean, it, it felt really cool to have have them just chilling there. Thank you for making my dasses dirty. <laughs> yeah. He thinks that's funny. And we cannot <laughs> reach somebody till after ninety days of their passing. Forty days. Forty days. It's 40 days. It's actually astrological. It's actually planetary. That's from here to there. Here to, it's even if it's even biblical, Noah, 40 days. Moses, 40 days. Jesus, 40 days. It's in almost every belief system and everything. So it's from passing to there. You just leave them alone. But they days. can come see you before they're on their way out on that trip. <coughs> that usually happens within a two-week period. Yeah, they usually come to you. The, often they will say, hey, I'm here and all right, but then yeah. they go away. They can come to you, yeah. We'll Did let them somebody rest. recently pass? Yeah, we had a, a member of our community and someone that was uh, close on the show mm. pass away. So this is the time, if it's less than 40 days, this is the time you can talk about them, wish them well, light them a candle, give them some incense, put them out a picture. Well, wish you well. Has it been a look on the other side. Has it been a Not two yet. Weeks. It's only been a couple of weeks. Dude. Oh, yeah. I was like, I didn't think it was that long ago. <clears throat> yeah, it was absolutely. like, it's two weeks today. Wow. Yeah, so they're in transition. Yeah. I'm not saying they can't show up and do whatever, but I, I won't contact But they're busy. Them. But they got they got the things to do right now. Is there anybody else here? There's all sorts like of people here. Like someone that's like strong. Like Walter is strong. He was Walter strong was for so long. Is there anybody else that's strong here? There's a girl. And she's showing herself youngish, like teens or twenties. Early 20s, late, late teens, early 20s. She's hanging out over there. Ashley. Is there an Ashley? This said Ashley. Naming it, right? What does she look like? Uh, kind of ragamuffin-y. Is she the one that was here last time? I don't know. Remember? We were oh, the Ashley? magazine girl? Oh, the it magazine girl. Spelled, spelled, spelled differently, different. yeah. Remember that in it? Yeah. I wrote it down. See, I hardly remember because I'm actually <laughs> in a trance yeah. state. Dude, you know how many people she talks to? to she does this daily, dude. So, so I don't. We said it, Ashley, spelled differently. She was here. Okay. Is I sort of remember that. It's again like a like a groupie girl, yeah, kind of. Oh, she, yeah, she's a groupie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She just likes hanging out here. Too. Is it just so, her vibe? So is it? Is this the same girl who came before? Are you the 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 news the magazine girl? Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh-huh. Huh. She says she's hung, she, she says she chills here. Where, yeah. Are you from our community? Are you from the community? Yes, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Oh, it's because she kicks it here? Yeah, she, she, I think she's a dad. I think, wasn't she from Vegas? Yeah. She's, she's from Las Vegas, Vegas, aren't you? There. Yeah. 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 What up? Yeah. Appreciate What up, Ashley? Can you like and subscribe, please? Well, it's all chilly over like here. <laughs> It is cold. I just got the it just cold, got all cold chilly. came through here. Um, That's the so, power so, up. So you're, you're okay, Ashley? Yeah. Is she just a companion? I got a cold chill Or is she sort of looking after people? Are you looking after people? In her way, she is. It's okay. not like she's some higher vibrational spirit guide or something. Are you looking after Phil? Are, no. Are you looking after Phil? No. Is it Tim? Tim? Sort of, yeah. What about Dennis? Sort of, yeah. Just like the whole vibe, right? Like the whole vibe. Yeah. Um, That's cool. You could play. You could move some of these fun equipment. Stefan's got really good equipment around. Do you want to? That was nuts. She was just sitting right there. I forgot that the girl before. I forgot. She chills here, dude. She she's, chills. She yeah, she said she comes and likes the, the vibe and she chills at the show. Yeah. It's crazy because I remember that. Yeah, now now I'm starting to, but I hadn't. I did, that. did she 
Do you go to our meetings? Or just a oh, show? Oh. Oh. oh, somebody's lighting that up. Yep. Make it go, go to green. Can you make it go green? That's the best color. Yes. What the hell? Look at you. <laughs> now take your hand away from it so it turns it off. Move your hand away. Oh, Good. Man. Thank you, wow. Ashley. That's cool. Thank you. So do you go to the meetings? Do you want to turn that on if you go to their meetings? You just hang here. They're on the Wednesdays. It has to be the energy, huh? Yeah. Because we do. The, the, you feel the energy here when we're when we're all on our our you a know, game. Yeah. A game. You feel this like electric charge in this room. It's like it's so addictive too. It is for living and non-living. It is. It's life force, and they can they use our life force, you know, which is fine. So, okay, she's here. So, Patty. Yeah. Um, I know you have Belle here. Yes, my baby. And I have and you're my Abby is here. Yeah. And then we have our friend that uh, we worked on that case with. Uh, what about them? Can they manipulate this stuff or talk to us through this um, as well since the veils? So this, the interesting thing that happened with Belle recently and again, people see her move. See, she's a 105-year-old porcelain. She doesn't really move, but you could always tell her mood, her eyes move. Um, a friend of mine gave me a doll, not old, but it's like a little decorative doll. And I'm, it's not, she didn't know if it was haunted or not. She got it at the thrift store. But she thought Belle needed a doll, so she gave it. And I named her Cheryl after my friend. So I set her on the desk, because I had a big blank spot on the desk when I'm on my Zoom class. And I was teaching. Um, I was probably like a psychic protection class or something at the school. And I was sitting, both my hands were on camera like this. All of a sudden, the other doll went into frame and just sat there. I didn't even notice it because I'm talking into the Zoom camera. And other people noticed it, but they thought that somebody else had done it or something like that. Nobody had. Um, and then it became this thing everybody's posting and this posting. Um, but I'm still looking at the doll and going, the, the doll it isn't haunted. There is no spirit in the doll. But somebody blew up the little Zoom video and saw this orb, this thing, almost a big smoke thing, come out of my bookcase, swoosh around, and move the doll, and then pass my desk. So it could have been her energy that did it. So yeah, they can do things and cause things. Again, it's energy just like if we have Walter move something, Ashley move this, we do whatever. Um, but it was interesting that it's like, but that doll's not haunted. But it was that doll just slid like six inches into frame. And I tried to debunk it a million times. It slides differently. So um, anyway, so, so, so Bill, what do you think of, uh, <laughs> what's her name? Abby, your doll, doll? This is Abby, Abigail. Abigail. This is the doll that I got from Tim on uh, my birthday a few years back. And he said it wasn't haunted. Mm -hmm. But it'll light up the K2. All kinds of weird things will happen with this thing over the years that it's been in my office. It sits right next to me. Yeah, I bought it in Singapore, dude. You got it in Singapore? Yeah, in like 2004. And like, there's a little shop. Like, <laughs> oh, I thought you said it wasn't haunted, dude. Cause I don't know. It didn't haunt me. It doesn't like you. Well, I'm... I'm no, I'm kidding. But I have a lot of... I have Maybe a lot of things... Maybe 2003. I don't even remember. That was with you. <laughs> you sound, you I was say, with him. Like you're starting to sound like Phil, Tim. Yeah, well, I... You're blocking your memories uh, out? That doll's moving her lips, and I, I could swear she's this moving one? her lips up and down, yes. Yeah, she does. Why, why does she want to talk to me or something? She, wants, yeah, she, wants she loves you, yeah. Phil. It's your nice. I don't know, man. <laughs> Is she staring right at you? Yeah, she'll... Yeah. He's looking right at you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. She likes you. But she's, she's moving her lips. It's freaking me out. Don't get freaked out, dude. Belle's awesome. See? Belle's awesome. She's a good person. I spent a lot of time with her. Her eyes go wider, yeah. Yeah, wider. She, she's moving She's all looking straight at Phil. She's in shock. <laughs> that is freaking nuts. I still I, can't believe you, man. You're getting all the good stuff today, man. Yeah. With that. What does she want to say to me, though? Because she keeps moving. Okay, Belle. Lips. Okay, let's see what Belle wants to say. Do you want to talk in the box? Oh, that's. Go ahead. Uh, do 
you want to talk in the box? She has like once or twice. Okay. I don't know. All right. <laughs> You're more loved over on the other side than you are here. I guess, <laughs> yeah, I, guess I must be. Oh, uh, more Two hugs. hugs. You want to hug her? Does she want me to do it? Yeah, go yeah, hug her, dude. Yeah, yeah. Are you in? Uh, if she says thank you, oh my god. <laughs> you you can even take her by you. Hug? How are you? Oh my god! <laughs> Give him more hug. <laughs> Good hug. Oh, oh, what a bird. Uh, what a cutie pie. Oh, how cool. Someone take a picture chocolate. of Phil holding it all. Come on, Jeff, go. Play chocolate right there. Huh? Is this good? <laughs> what do you want to say to Phil? Forgive. Uh, forgive, Phil. Dude, what? Wow, dude. wow, forgive. For that what is that word? I don't know. Oh. Skull? I like skull, right? Or scour. Scour. I thought it was scour. scour? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. It's talking way too fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Behind. Okay. Yeah, you. Bell, can we hear your Chick voice? Chicken? Bell Chicken? wants to hang with the Phil puppet. Do you want Phil to leave? Papa. Papa. That's what my son calls him. Really? Phil, do you know who Papa is? That's the second time she said nine. That was a different. What is that? Dude, that was like a. That was like a kid. Oh, that was a kid Papa. voice. Okay. Yeah, how are you? How? I am doing. I am doing fine. How are you? <laughs> okay. okay. Are you stuck? What's it say? Twelve. What's it say? Okay. In um, a kid's voice. Let's yeah. see what that one wants to say. Behind. It's a behind twice. Behind what? Your butt. She's gonna go inside the fill puppet. You wanna play with the fill puppet? Maybe yeah. she's afraid of that thing. Maybe that's what she wants to hug. You want to play with the puppet, Belle? She's trying to talk about it. We're stuck it underneath here, okay? She did not like that. Get rid of the puppet. She did? Yeah. That sounded like a little kid. Yeah, that did sound. He's bad? Something, something's bad. He's bad. Something's bad. Is he bad? You, th you see bad things? Hi. He hugs? Oh, my God! Uh, how, is it, how are you going to have two different situations saying yeah. the same thing? Yeah. Maybe she's trying to hug this. this well, do you want to hug the Phil puppet? What's making the... That's this uh, speaker thing. And the what, what spirit box. Yeah. Which usually, like, that has all kinds of voices, but it's been constantly a little girl's voice. Yeah, yeah that's nice. Voice. All right. Do you like Phil? You Let's like figure this out. Do you like Phil? Yeah. Do you want to play with the puppet? Yeah. What is that? Yes, something. Is that like yes, yes, please? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes please. Let her play with it, dude. <laughs> All right, here comes the Phil puppet. Well, Give yeah, it to Jess. Yeah. Mine? Mine. <laughs> Do you want it? Does she want it? I can't turn it up any louder. You gotta you gotta give her a second to respond. Okay. Do you like that? Oh yeah. <laughs> you like playing with that puppet? Yeah. 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 Oh my god. Fuck it. This is good. Huh? He said she said be nice. You wanna play with that one? You wanna take it home? Hey, you want to sing a song with us? We can 
Want to see the Itty Bitty Spider song? That's what we did with Izzy and Vulture City. All right, start it, Mike. It's a song. Or Row, Row Your Boat. We do that with uh, Jackie on, on the Queen Mary. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we do that. Okay. Kids like those songs. Get ready? Yeah. Row, 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 row your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily life is but a Come on, Belle, sing it with us. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Hello. That was definitely row or boat, right? Yeah, it was a row. No, I heard her say a little. You heard something? Yeah, I heard. Just getting freaked out right now. Is that why you moved? Yeah, I heard the whole line as they were singing it. Sit and say that to the mic. Why are you running away? Just a little girl. She's just a little girl. Don't get freaked out. So what did you hear, dude? Uh, well, they were singing it. I heard the whole, verse? the whole line, the whole verse. Can you? Are you picking that up, Dennis? Yes. Okay. Can you say hi to Dennis? Bell, what me? This is the same one you always use? This is not the Necronomic. No. This is different. What, what is this one? That's this one's way better. Yeah. It isolates the voice. Yeah, I like that. This is one we were using in Vulture City, and then all of a sudden the piano started playing on its own and just freaked us all out, and then, then it did it again. And, and so she she's was just, just She's happy because... She likes the puppet, and she gets to look at Phil. <laughs> Yeah, she sounds pretty happy, she? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's a good kid. I mean, she's got good energy. She makes people happy that are always around her and stuff, you know? Yeah. How, how did that um, doll come to be? This, this doll? Yeah. Okay, I will tell you. Um, a girl in Belgium sent her to me because... This doll mm. made her sick for three years and made her hair fall out and made her little kids fall out, hair fall out. And she saw me on Ghost Adventures, no, the spinoff Deadly Possessions, doing a seance with Peggy the doll, who's much darker and scarier, this little blonde. It's in Zach's museum now. And they'd flown the girl who then owned her out and me. And Peggy gives people heart attacks, has given two documented heart attacks. So she said, if I could handle Peggy, I could handle Belle. She said, can I send her to you? And I said, I said, yeah, okay, sure, because I figured I could handle it. So she sent her to me from Belgium, 105-year-old doll. I had, this is several years ago now, I had never, ever once done a Facebook Live before. Never. And I, I have a lot of followers, not that many followers. Opening this doll, 49,000 people watched me mm. open this doll. I get like 300 people watching something, you know, just because of the power of this doll and got her out. And she did it, not me. But I banned it. was something really dark. It wasn't like a little ghost. I banished it before sunset. And then she's, this little girl slowly started coming out. But she used to really drain energy. I had to keep, I'd keep in her hand, I'd keep the herb rue to, for protection because she would just exhaust anybody around her. But she got over that really fast. But she, she puts on glamorous. People think she's a real kid. I mean, she doesn't, she's not the right size for a real kid. But she puts on these things that people think she is. And before she got known. That's how Belle. This night has just been re uh, Well, you wanted a special show about the paranormal, and this is definitely that. I can't believe you, Dad. Yeah. So I fine. really can't believe you didn't remember that. He's like the most I am so shocked about this this whole thing. I'm so shocked. So Belle, Belle is he hiding something? I did, but... But you did. When I talked to him about it, he sort of like, well, I don't know if that really happened, but it did. Like, he doesn't, it's never a direct story. It's sort of very vague when we talk about it. Oh, he's just like, oh, yeah, you Maybe, know, That's because that. he doesn't remember, though. He you will. know, he, he will. I think he will. I think <laughs> this is the, the turning on. All right, do you like that puppet there? And you like Phil? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> 
You have a new fan, Phil. So what has your doll been doing? What does she do? Uh, she's been moving and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, obviously, I have in my office where I have Puff all set up at. He helps yeah. me get through my stuff. And he messes with my computer a lot. And he thinks it's funny, so that's not really that funny. Uh, I have her set up in a corner where I have a bunch of candles and incense and stuff. It's kind of like a little altar thing. And um, she's just been getting more and more active, so I pulled her out of that corner, and I started moving her around the room. And where I do my teaching and stuff, I have her in the background, so this is right behind me. Kind of like how you have Belle there. Yeah, yeah. She just wanted to be part of the action, and the, the energy is really strong with her. And in my office, and sometimes when I'm on... Bell. Bell, yeah. Uh, when I'm doing the classes, um, people hear knocking on the closet behind me. It's a real common thing. Usually it's my my wife's sister who passed away and her boyfriend. They bang on the closet trying to get my attention. And I always say, hey, all right, two more times just to prove that you're really doing something. And then I'll pull out the spare box. We'll talk, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And so she's just been part of the action. And I've really got this connection with her. And it's, it's, it's really good. Uh, he hangs out in the garage mm -hmm. because I'm not bringing him in the house. There's always issues with this guy. He's a big prankster and does whatever, and I just don't want it in my house. So, uh, But ha I haven't had anything negative happen. Not like with the, with the people we were trying to help out. Right. I don't think it was... The thing that was affecting them, I think it was just something adding to it, kind of stirring the pot a little bit, kind of a prankster thing. So that's why I took it out of the out of the house. Um, but yeah, I I use her. I talk to her a lot in there. It's it's definitely got uh, energy. Um, the movement of of things it doesn't really move that well. That's why I'm just surprised when I see it. Like when I come back and it's in different positions, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but I I definitely think it's great. Uh, I don't recommend that people get uh, a doll and try to contain a spirit into it. I've seen people online saying they can create these haunted dolls, which is a captive s vessel, and there's like, there, it comes with an attached flash drive for EVPs that the doll said and stuff. And I, don't, I don't think that's okay. I think if a spirit comes by and sees the doll and says, hey, I'm going to hang out here for a while yeah. and moves into the doll, and it's not even the doll itself. Sometimes the spirit can be around the doll. The energy is around the doll. So it's, it's not always just inside as a vessel. So I think that's okay. I just don't want to trap anything or keep something somewhere that should be moving on. You know, the afterlife is a journey. We're, we're supposed to go do whatever it is we got to go do. And I don't want to prevent them from doing that. That's, that's never Yeah, that's trapping. Right. It's like put them in a jail cage. Yeah, and plus I think there's a bunch of... There can't be that many haunted dolls. People are just making up haunted dolls now. That's well, haunted. Yeah. Yeah, of money. course. Of course. Yeah. And it's like $500 on eBay. Sure. You know. It's funny that you mentioned Peggy. I've never had any bad experience or any negative things with Peggy. Mm -mm. I know people do and people freak out because I've been in the room when people are walking through freaking out. But I went through there and, and it wasn't gnarly. I don't think... She's trying to be gnarly, so to speak. I think she just picks and chooses who she just decides she doesn't like. I think she likes men more than women. I do. I think she, so if you're a man, so I think she'll like you more. She curses at me because <laughs> he has the little spirit box in there. Yeah. So it, it's like, hi, Peggy, you look so pretty. Do you remember you? Oh, I can't say that, can you? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get that. But that whole Zach house experience was strange. I went down into the basement where people, most people don't go. Mm -hmm. And there's that big uh, pentagram and then the, those, the satanic chairs and all that stuff in there. And it's yeah. supposed to be like the hardest, darkest place. And he's got the spirit boxes running through there, right? Yeah. So I'm expecting all this craziness because I can hear it in the distance as I'm walking through the hallway getting closer and closer. And I hear the voices and it sounds pretty, pretty dark. And I step into the room and I hear, hello, hi. Uh -huh. How you doing? Like this. And I'm like, oh, so what are we doing in here, guys? Are we, we going to start the ritual soon or what? Just being a, a smart ass. And they were like, they kept saying that. Hello. Hi. Like talking to me like that. And I went out and I told the girl, I'm like, that wasn't bad at all. They were really friendly. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I was saying hi and hello and stuff. And I'm like, that's, they're like, that's pretty weird, dude. 
Well, you got good energy. You brought in. I guess so. Maybe I knew those guys. Who yeah, knows? Maybe, you know? I have a dark did. past, so. Yeah, that, that <laughs> basement, when, when I did an episode there, it was with that live, the four-hour live one, and nobody used to go down there then. That's what he had Lady Snake down there doing. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. I loved that episode just because you and her are going to get into it. I thought you were going to beat her up. Well, there, well, it was that the there, there was two. One with Ed Gaines Cauldron. That was one, one, and she's like, "You shouldn't be here. You I know. shouldn't and be she here." Had Ed Gaines. That was the great. Serial killers. we we're, we're, I had no. I we're in Cauldron this big that he used to like cook and eat people in, and oh, I walk into this room and there's this little unassuming English woman who looks like she wants to serve you tea. Who wants to kill me? And she's, and it's like he just does this good witch, bad witch thing. <laughs> And, oh, she did. And uh, But I had no idea that that was Ed Gaines' cauldron until I saw it on TV like two months Jesus. later. Thank you. I didn't know. So uh, next year later, I, I guess it was a year or two later, we did the, the four-hour live. Nobody knew she Everybody, I was just, I was just total fangirling. Cause Josh Gates was there, and Chris Fleming, and Michael and Marty Perry, and... Gary Galka, Justin Spurrier, every Josh, uh, Josh, we, everybody was there. Josh like, Gates? I'm here. Uh, yeah. I love Josh. You know Josh. I love Josh Gates. Do you know him? Yeah, of course. Uh, I would love to talk to him. He's, a, he's, he's the most amazing guy ever. You want me to have him calling at the show? Hell yes. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, he's we can do my, that. He's on my Mount Rushmore. Everybody, yeah, right? everybody she mentioned, I know. Yeah. Well, I'm, I love Josh Gates. Really? You, you love him that Josh much? Gates? Destination Truth. Know. That guy's groundbreaking. He's done some of the, the very yeah, first types of paranormal. Right. He did the first underwater paranormal investigation ever, and that was amazing. He has a lot of things, and he, he goes to test out the theories. Josh Gates is legit. Yeah, he is. He's great. They spent the night in Angor Wat, which no one else has done before, and they could hear sword fighting and stuff going he's on. He's literally found stuff. Yeah. Remember Easter his, Island? His teammate had scratches all across his chest. Just out of, they were sitting there. It was a, I mean, there was no way that they could fake that because there's camera with the guy the whole time. Or, I mean, maybe they could. They, you know, <laughs> they don't forget, they, they don't fake it. My, a good friend of mine is, is, is Rex Williams, and he's, he was on that show. Because it looked like in real time. Yeah. And he would tell me crazy things like, when they were filming. All of a sudden, he's there and go, <gasps> and he pulls it up, and it slowly just starts to appear. These scratches. Yeah. Are. I will tell you a secret, though, about that show. You ever notice when they're in the middle of nowhere, they decide they're going to go down this hill and they're going to break out the, the repelling gear with the ropes and all the harnesses? Mm -hmm. You ever notice they don't repel back up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> they just cut it from there, though. Yeah, because the helicopter waiting over there. <laughs> oh, there is? Of course, dude. They do that for the excitement. They're like, we're going to repel and then down this ravine, but down the ravine they can just walk over the helicopter over there and leave because then you never show them going back up anything That's it's funny. easier to just go slide down a rope than to climb a rope right. oh my god That's funny. That's <laughs> funny. Josh is bad. he's awesome he's so awesome anyway so we were all there we were all in the same hotel together we'd spent days we were in the same green room together and it was a four-hour live special so it was major production like 40 cameras everywhere at the museum but we didn't know Lady Snake was there, so that's when we went into the basement, not the Ed Gates. And he's like, Patty, we, yeah, we go in the basement, and that's when, and then it went down there, and then she was there. Though I made Zach jump like six inches, it was pretty good. I did this stomp thing to stop her energy, and he flew up. And when they did an edited version, he cut that out. I was like, oh. He didn't want to look silly. He's like, wait a minute, yeah. don't let me look scared real quick. Yeah. But that's funny. Hey, but you guys get along now. You and Lady Snake. Yeah, her name's Wendy. She just will do dark magic that I won't do. I don't have judgment towards it. Isn't she with the university now? No, I would not bring her into the university. She does dark magic. Oh, we're not doing dark magic in the university? No. Well, I better stop that next lesson then. <laughs> no, I will do protective magic. We, I mean, we have I'm like, oh, I wrote it out pretty dark. A, we have Richard Lael, who's a, the Satanist. You know Richard Lale, he's been on the show. Yeah. I love Richard. We Everybody love loves Lale. Richard. He's uh, so smart. So smart he and is sweet such a great and he dresses interview. so pretty. Oh, I, I yeah. dress him nicely. So too. no, we that have, I mean, we suit. just won't do stuff where we teach people dark magic. We, we'll do protective magic. We, we will get close to the line with a lot of stuff. Yeah. What is the difference? Kaya used to be pretty kind of. The difference is intent. Yeah, intent. What are you doing? 
He asked that. Oh, who said that? You? Yeah. Oh. You sound like Isaac for a minute there. Is that your Isaac impersonation? That was pretty that's good. That's all the alpha male in this. <laughs> um, what is the difference? Al uh, dark magic, and, and why wouldn't you want that? Well, to me, uh, to, uh, the way, again, you can do it lots of ways. To me, uh, I do magic. I think you can get anything you want from good magic, and I believe you can. I, I have done it. It's where you control your world, you change your world, but you don't control somebody else. I'm not going to do something that makes oh. you do something. Okay. Um, I will do something that creates me that I'll kick you maybe to get you to do what you want, but not control you. Like a love spell. Like if you want a love spell, we could bring you the love of your life. We wouldn't bring you a love spell on a specific person because now we're controlling that person. Yeah. We could probably make that person fall in love in you. And if it wasn't supposed to be, it'd be like the stalker person you couldn't get rid of. And, and you're now, it, and it's not to me good or evil or heaven or hell. It's you create the world you live in. If you live in a world of curses and hexes and controlling other people, you live in that world. Now you could be cursed and hexed and, and live in another world. And I, my challenge of life is because is I made myself healthy. I should I should be long dead and not healthy. And and I said, wait, I'm a witch. I'm a magician. I can do this. So I'm healthy and I haven't got sick in decades. So to show that what we can do, um, I used good magic and and if, to show that I wasn't dead, I I beat like a hundred thousand people to get on Wipeout, the world's biggest obstacle card. I did the big balls that show. It's like all with positive magic. You could do it. You could do it. Not I hope that person breaks their foot. I hope. So I beat. And they tell you right there. I beat a hundred thousand people to to get on that show. And then I'm like, wow, well, look at that. Is that real? Doing. Are you telling the truth? Uh -huh. Yeah, she was on Wipe Down. I got videos of all. I've done Wipe Down. Okay. So I did You that. didn't see that episode with her? No. She's doing backflips and stuff? <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting slugged in the face with my. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I. So then I'm going, okay, what else? Can I, can I show how powerful we are as humans? I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't cook. They kick me out of home ec. My husband won't let me in the kitchen. I'm like, I'm cooking for Gordon Ramsay. So I auditioned for Master Chef, and hundred thousand people later, I am on Master Chef season three, cooking for Gordon Ramsay. Wait, and what? Is that the real story? You didn't too? know that? It's a real story. I've got video on. Oh it. my God! Okay, Good okay. Magic. And I played the witch card. Everyone, I play the witch card, and I've ta talked about magical cooking, stirring clockwise brings things in, stirring counterclockwise take away this. How you make your kids oatmeal. Garden Ramsey is afraid of ghosts. Little sweat beating it down. He's, <laughs> we spent a lot of time together. So then I'm like, wow, I, no one will let me. I don't even know how to saute. And I used good magic to get there. And I didn't control Gordon. I didn't control. But I put all this positive energy out to everybody around me, and it bounces back. Cause and effect, action and reaction. What you put out, you get back. So then I'm like, OK, I've done the impossible. I'm not that physical to do the physical show. I can't cook to do Gordon Ramsay, and, and so then I go, okay, what, what, what show am I so absolutely not right for? Absolutely, America's Got Talent. Went to those big auditions where there's five thousand people at, at at like LA Convention Center, and they did every convention center and thing. Hundred thousand people later, I am rolling on the floor with Howie Mandel. <laughs> Making a ridiculous fool of myself. What season is this? Mm, I don't know. I've got it on video. It's on my YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it was it was it was a clusterfuck. <laughs> but it was I like that. You know, I didn't last long on any of them, but all with positive magic. It works. You don't have to control other people. You don't have to do anything negative to get to make world, well, so. I'm more enticed about this love potion for the love of the life. Yeah. It's dangerous, I'm dude. I've I've been a test subject on that one before. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, yeah, we don't talk anymore. Uh -oh. uh oh. I need a love potion. I need one of those. I'm like 35 and still single. I'm getting kind of those. Yeah, that's because of you. Oh, well, that's not me thing. Oh, because yeah, you're in love with yourself, dude. No potions could fix that. <laughs> 35. That's not. That's not. That's well, not, awesome. That's young. I don't think anybody should get married under 30. Perfect. Yeah, you got to be old enough, mature enough to know what you're getting into. That's why I waited until I was 40. I'm like, all right, I got it. I get, I get what's yeah, going on here. So, awesome. Thank you so much for that. That's been an amazing experience.
Thank you. Uh, so do we need to close the veil? Yes. Why don't we? We're <laughs> going to leave everything here. And That's all right. We can do an experiment in Tim's house. Leave the veil open. <laughs> leave a portal uh, open. Okay. Tim. So all of you people out there, too, wherever you are. So t everybody take a deep breath again and again. Just deep breath, everybody out there on the YouTube breath. land. Close your eyes or let your eyes glaze over. And again, even if we didn't talk to them, there is certainly spirits here. And there's a dog. There's a yellow dog here. A, a, you know, an orangey yellow dog. Um, if you have anybody here, maybe they want to whisper to you. If you're comfortable with it, maybe they want to touch your arm, touch your shoulder. What, and what I always say is that we get some information. We could find out things that happened in childhood we didn't remember. We could have girl groupies. But what they get out of it is literally this sense of being alive again. Most of the time, dead people are fine. They're crossed over. You know the differences of those. But this gives them a sense of space and time, like real conversation, so it's win-win. So we want to thank them. We want to thank Walter and Roy and Earl Ashley and all these other ones that we didn't even talk to and see them slowly step back into the darkness, slowly step back for everybody wherever you are, and then like a net, see the veil slowly close like a big net around us as we slowly close the veil between the worlds. Veil's over. Close. So, so now what everybody should do if you're, before driving is everybody should eat salt or touch iron. I got an iron maiden city in my car. Yeah. Iron maiden city car. Like this is iron. You can touch this, especially if you're going to drive or heavy machinery. And everybody, even the people out there, and especially you guys, you're going to be extra psychic for a few days. Uh, you probably were last time. Uh, all, your, all your senses, your sense of smell will be heightened vision will seem clearer, your hearing will seem clearer, you'll probably have a better dream life. Right, Stefan, when you open the veil, even though you close it, there's the, the fresh air got in, so it, yes. you keep that with you. Sometimes it gets so gnarly that I thought I was, I was questioning if maybe I was dying, yeah. because because things were getting so intense, <laughs> like in the last couple of months. Yeah, yeah, but that's because the veil is really thin. Yeah. Someone grabbed my hand during the, the closing of the bell. Bell, did you I, I, did you grab right. his hand, Bell? So, somebody I, did. Some, I, like, I, I, that's why I said you could touch somebody. Volume. That's why. That's I, what I was telling you. I was like, Bell, like, did I you touch his hand? Maybe. She said, "Yeah, maybe." I thought she said, "Yeah, that was me," but it could be maybe. Okay, that's cool. Do you ever use one of those? Brass bowls where they take that stick and they oh bowls, I uh, uh, make guacamole yeah, with it yeah, yeah mm -hmm. no like the singing bowls like there's a, there's, like there's the Tibetan, ones that are all yeah. glass and crystal and then there's the the metal ones that are more the Tibetan bowls yeah I have a brass one but and th that someone from Tibet gave me and she gave me these purple crystals that go with Ooh, it beautiful so I don't know you should play it well I'm not exactly sure what to do with it <laughs> but just make noise but sound okay you guys are music people do you sound see is it? magic yeah let's see it sound we know is magic it can are you going to get something you. It can put you to sleep yes. it could okay he's gonna go get something I was gonna show Mike's pictures oh yeah you know the sound shifts all your cells sound can Clear a room, sound can. So, and those bells, those like Tibetan bells, are now the singing bowls. Bell, do you like the bells? Is a different spot on there a different spot in your body? Yeah. It okay. works different. Yeah. I can feel that in parts of my body. So, I mean, let's go. Look out. Yeah. That's what a lot of people use tuning forks and do do this with tuning forks. Right here? That's where I feel it. That's by your heart. <clears throat> Poor sound department. And this is, if I'm not an equipment girl, I've had spirits make it vibrate, less vibrate. I've had them make it stop without touching it to stop. This is like, you if, know, old school. It feels like equipment. It, it's like. Ooh, that's pretty. 
And look at all the crystals in it. She said you gotta put them under the full moon to, to charge them, recharge them or something. You can like do that. that. You okay. can even dip them in the ocean and it'll grab their energy from the ocean. Ocean, full moon, charge them on the full moon, stick them outside, stick them in a window. Ocean, you could smudge them with, you know, an incense or something will clear them too. I'm not good at this. I would take the rocks out of yeah, the Yeah, if you wanted to sing. Have the rings in it. If you wanted to sing louder, well, you want I, to take it out. I, I do. I mean, you can take them out. I, I just keep them in there so they don't get it. Yeah. So you don't use it, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> so like you look at it. Like, yeah, look at this brass ball. I just put junk in. Yeah. But Eat cereal out of it. it would start his and pockets this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You should play it. You know, when, when you're sure lonely. No. Yeah, when you're there's lonely. Vi there's videos on, how, on YouTube you could watch. Um, it, it, it could put you in a relaxed state or an invigorated state, whatever it is you want. Again, just like I was doing with the chime, it, it, it shifts. Again, she it had a really big one about this big. Who is she? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. How big was it? How big? Yeah, she, who, the girl at the store? Uh, how big was this big? The cashier? Take this stuff out. It was about 12 inches? And she was, at least. She would make that thing. Uh, it, it would help her get into a... Um, Trance. Trance? Trance? Yeah. Like Did you meditate with her? You, Did you guys meditate together? You could go to a sound bath places and sound bath, like sometimes I'll do them at yoga studios, and everybody just lays on your little yoga mat, and they'll have a bunch of these with the big ones and the little ones, and you just transport. Did you, did you like, meditate with her? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> so, so it went more to meditation? Yeah. He ignores every question about it. <laughs> I think this one's broken, dude. Why is that? It's not making any sounds. sounds. Maybe it's the. Maybe you have maybe to do it's it. Maybe it's the 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 mallet. Yeah, that's not. It's not. What'd you get this dowel at? Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it came with What's the paint. So it's not the one that came with it. Hard, yeah. Fancy and that's the but she she didn't have another one. That was the only thing I could think of to, uh... It's oh, it's not even real. That's oh, why it's not working. Uh, it's trying, but it's not making the right kind of contact. It's like, what the hell's wrong with this thing? I'm on goalie and it should work. But whatever. Okay. I, mean, I can you order could you probably, can order Yeah, you could, get, you could order one and just... Nice collection, though. These are cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice. And you gotta, you gotta fill them up, though. You can feel those, they're kind of like, they don't have that much energy. Uh, I have to put them on the... We'll do the ritual. Yeah. That's why it's not working. The sacrifice. You okay, man? Think about meditation? No, no, I, no, I just... <laughs> making sure you're okay. All right. So, hey, everybody. Uh, you're still watching the Red Light District show, hopefully. Hope you haven't gone to sleep yet. It's been an interesting night. Uh, we've been talking about the Paracon that Patty's going to be doing uh, something relatively similar to this for those who want to get involved. Want to come to the Paracon in June at the Ventura Theater. Uh, I have Mike Pritchard here who's uh, been falling asleep, but now that he's not snoring anymore. Uh, we want to show you some pictures that he got during our time at the Ventura Theater. Uh, yeah. Who's going to put it up on the screen? Um, Chris Barang. Chris. Wake up, Chris. The, uh, wakey, wakey. The <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's Tim's fingers. I don't know why I just didn't take a picture of the actual thing, but that wasn't hit. that's your but fingers. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna edit this part where we're not gonna talk about the fingers. So it's gonna be a picture of the actual picture on there. So you really can't even see anything. So tell us what's going on in this picture, Mike. Where do I start? Which picture is that? There's two pictures. So here's here's Jeff's dad over here. He's doing something weird. He's sitting down on the bench. Uh, there's the lights up there, oh, obviously. Don't forget the mic. Use the microphone in front of you. Okay, there we go. Testing one, two, three. Oh, yeah, there you are. Hey, Mike Pritchard, everybody. Hey, scientist. Right. Certified. It says on your business card you're yeah, a scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play one TV, too. So right here is Jeff's dad, right? And this is a FLIR camera, which is the thermal cam. Now, see, that's actually the second picture. This is the second picture? Yeah, you want to go to the first picture. There you go. So there... You see right behind is Jeff's dad. So here's Jeff's dad again. Does Jeff want to explain a little bit background to this? 
Uh, yeah, Maybe sure. Down. This is the upstairs of the Ventura Theater. Uh, what is that place, the area called? The Grotto? We call it the Grotto. The Grotto. So my dad was sitting on one of those little metal benches. That's his dad right, right there. there. Yeah, that yellow mark in the middle, that is my dad sitting down. Not the, this. Uh, this is a snuffle up, I guess. Uh, no, that's those people. So oh. the darker colors, like the orange and the yellow, that's actually... These are people because of heat. the heat sensor. Yeah, heat sensor. So the bluer the color, you see the chart right there on the right side. See right here? Down there, so... The color spectrum? Yes. Now, what's interesting is here's the picture prior, or no, no, no after. No, no, that's after. So here's a picture with the lights on, not very thermal. Well, that's with the same exact picture but without, without thermal imaging. You can actually sc scroll... And that's the same exact picture right there. This is the same picture, thermal but thermal. But if you look at Jeff's dad over here on the bench, there's this uh, thing. Yeah, he was, uh, there was someone behind him that he was feeling. And uh, this person kept knocking on the doors that go up to the, the balcony area. And like trying to get through the doors and stuff. So, um, Really? Was the door, was that, the door open? That was before he put doors open. Oh, okay. you said, yeah, I remember, oh, okay. I remember it made after. fun of you because saying that you guys nice the spirits. Yeah, but like doors. it kept like. Yeah, I say the, stupid things all the time. It's yeah, amazing. Anyway, hitting yeah. the doors and stuff and walking by and the REM pod was going off and stuff. So, so you this took that picture. figure standing up showed up like a split second afterwards. Yeah, and that's if you notice room temperature the there was. in the left hand top corner is 72.7 degrees. 72.7 degrees. That's room temperature. Now, if you look at the chart here. This thing is probably around, what, 40 degrees? Uh, probably, roughly around there, yeah. yeah. So we're going to move on to the next picture, and it's gone. But if you look at the room temperature, it's up to 73 degrees. 73 degrees. And if you look at the left-hand side there, where that one guy is sitting down, whoever that is. I, the, I think it's Regal. Now, look right where his head is, and you'll see like a, the arm. Like the guy went from one end to the it's other. It's like one arm stairs. sitting up. He's like... Giving us the finger yeah, as he's like walking down us, the stairs. Us off, basically. So we go from there to there to there. And that happened just a couple of frames. And that's the kind of stuff that we see at the Ventura Theater all the time. We know that the spirit's up there. We have our good friend Gary, the, the projector guy, who's always mad. Now, we figure out who that is, actually? That's not Gary. Who that's, is that? I think that might be Gary. Because Chester's be Gary? way taller. Okay. Chester's tall and weird looking he's okay. got really long fingers and it's like creepy yeah I he, saw him. Cool. when i see him I, he, he reminds me of groot okay long slanky long fingers that are just unproportioned does he wear a, like a suit i haven't seen him wear a suit he, okay. i've seen him and he's kind of in gray i've seen i saw him walk into a, the wall upstairs in the balcony when we we're on stage we we're setting up for band practice and i was walking from the ramp into the room and I always do this thing where I scan the room. I always look at the, the balcony, and then I look around and see what's going on. And I do that when we have shows. I'm, I'm looking for troubles, you know. So when I walk into this room, I look up, and I see a person. But he's... And that's where he goes upstairs, and he, he goes he hangs out in the, the ceiling above. Does he, does he ever wear overalls? I haven't seen him with clothes, dude. I've only seen him in color. But there are picture, old pictures of him yeah, with overalls. Yeah, that's what overalls. I see. I see. I see a long person, and it's just, like, it goes. And it's too far to, like, make out a clothes, but I thought it was all one color, like, all one suit. Yeah. 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 Oh, like coveralls or something. Yeah. It, it just something seems like, like it's all one. He was a maintenance guy. He did all the, all the plaster work, and he did a see, lot of electrical work. He was the yeah. one who coveralls, fell through yeah. the ceiling that's and what, died on the floor was, below. Yeah. And, he, like, well, maybe hunched over, like, yeah. this? Well, he, yeah, like, when I saw him... Remember, we were up in the projector room, and you guys thought it was Gary. And I said, no, it's this guy, because he had to, like, lean over to get to the top of the doorway, remember? And I saw his face up at the top of the doorway, and he was kind of, like, hunched over a little bit. But all I saw was his face, and it was all weird looking. Is he the one that charged at you when you put your head up on the, in the Are you uh, kidding? The stairs? I don't know. Who no, was the one I, that charged at you? I don't know who you? that was, but that whoever it was was up in the ceiling. They well, did Ladder, right? In the crawl space, yeah. because yeah, of the ceiling. Dude yeah. Do you remember when someone when when I got they threw a uh, when they threw a, the bolt, the screw? Yeah, yeah. You, me, and Tim were standing there yeah. looking for the stupid bolt. Okay, so after all that, I didn't bring it up because I was I thought it was someone that was working there. I saw a dude 
the way you're describing him in these one color thing as he was going he was going down the stairs. I was like, oh, he's just maintenance guy. Because it was during the whole the, everything maintenance. I'm thinking he was just one of these guys. And I never saw that person again. Oh, okay. Interesting. I, I, I think only, it was he was one that threw the screw at you. When I, when I see him, it's usually like out in front of the... There, you know, the there's like a barrier, and then it right, the, and then you have the, the barrier. Lighting. I thought that was a. It's like right, you know where the lighting is. The lighting. The lighting ring. The the board in the middle. Yeah. Okay. In front of that, always walking there. Oh, I've, ne I've never seen him there. You never. That's when. I, that's every time I see him, he's upstairs in the balcony, or he's in the projector room area, or the main and stuff, or he's in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Pervert. Mm -hmm. It used to be the offices. That was the safe store in there, right? Yeah, that's, they used to be the business offices, so I, I see him walking in there sometimes. So. That's the only ghost I've ever seen there. Really? You haven't seen Gary? Gary's a fun fun guy. Or I've Big only Mike. seen the person walking like this. Big Mike is pretty fun. Tall, lanky. And then I saw a girl upstairs, red. And red. Red? That's all I just remember red. I heard her. I heard a girl whisper to me on the main stage. I heard a girl like a girl whisper. In that, the that's probably Ann. Uh, oh, dude, remember when you were taking a dump? Right oh yeah. <laughs> he was taking a dump, and someone said, "Don't forget to wipe," and he thought it was me. <laughs> that's probably Gary, dude. That sounds like his sense of humor. I walked out. I came out. And I go, okay, who's who's? who's yeah, who's? I was standing there. Oh, oh yeah, you, you were, did oh, that. You were there. Who yeah. just did that? Well, what the hell are you talking about? You thought it was Tim? No. Yeah. What about you, pervs? Second what are you guys doing? Theater. <laughs> that place is weird. Yeah, so if you guys want to get your chance to come see the Ventura Theater, it's going to be on June 3rd and 4th. You can go to the Ventura Theater website and get your tickets now. Those who want to be vendors, I have a few vendor spots left, but they're going pretty quick right about now. Um, this could be your chance, because I don't know when after that i'm going to open it up for investigations this might be your one chance so uh, i would recommend doing that now anyway that's going to be it for the red light district show thank you guys for joining us for hanging out with us being uh here with patty and experiencing the the raising of the veil and uh holy crap digging deep into phil's dark past that he has put aside out of his mind we're getting down to the clues, so we, now we have a new bit for the show where we're going to try to dig in to Phil's mind and see what we can find. That's, that's it. So if you like what you saw here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit every button on the page, it doesn't matter. Leave a comment. We will comment back if we like it. If we don't like it, we'll just delete it and move on. So go ahead. And that is going to be it for tonight. Thank you, Patty, for being here. Thank you, Mike, for showing up. Thank you, Bell, for interacting with us and talking to us tonight. And thank you all for joining us. We'll see you guys next time right here on the Red Light District Show. Holy like they say in Canada, peace. Peace. Out. Don't forget to fuck more. Oh, yeah, that's my line now. Yeah, you fuck oh, yeah, okay, You took it over. Okay. Producer.